is another episode of Candy Kisses TV with one and only Michelle C. And I'm everywhere you need to be. And I'm here with the one and only... Erica Duchess. All right, now, and I remember when you started. I know you don't know that, but I remember when you started. Remember in Legends? Uh, oh, yeah. Girl, yes. Because, yeah. you know, Ronnie's my homie, so I was there, and, and you got up there, and you were like, I'm with my co-worker. And I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah, I was just starting out yes. then, because everybody at my job, they kept telling me that I was missing my calling. Yeah. So when I finally went up and did it for the first time, they were coming out every, I think he used to do it every Tuesday. Tuesday, yep. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just like, look at her doing her thing, and then you done grown on and surpassed all that. So, what, yes. so what's keeping you motivated to keep going? What's keeping people. Okay. People is, like, people really love me, and they... That's when I found, I just recently found out it's deeper than me. Mm -hmm. Coming is deeper than me. Well, this guilt is deeper than me. Right. That's what made me go. I, when I hear people say, girl, I was so down and depressed. I'm going through a divorce, but I came out to see you and you. I really needed that. I mean, they'd be like, are you serious? A mm. little bit on me. Oh, yeah. Laughter is healing. A lot of people need that. It really is. So that's what keep me going, man. Plus, my kids, they, they love it. They be like, mama, you funny. Like, you be a girl call. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's a male-dominated industry. Yes. So, like, with that being said, like, how do you just try to break out of the norm because a lot of people out there that's like oh she a girl she ain't gonna you know how they do us you know anything that we do they think they'll know we're better than you because i'm i'm a female dj too so they be like oh you're, you're a dj i don't know I'm like, you chicka, 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 all chicka day on ass. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but yes um i mean you know what i i told myself i'm just gonna block all that out okay block all that out or you black you're a female you this you that and and then when you start thinking about it, that's what put you in the box right when you start thinking about, well, maybe, dang, I am a female, and I'm, I'm, I'm a black female, and you start just doubting, doubting. Right. So I just blocked all that. But well, Shaka Khan thought I'm every woman. Yeah, I am every okay. woman, and all what God created me to be. So that's what keep me just not even, I don't even be stuck on that. I just be like, look, God gave me this gift, because comedy was not on my on my list of plans. So it what was, was on your list? What was your rate? What was it like, okay, my career goal is... I was, okay, I, I worked in um, corporate America for like 10 years. Okay. Like one of the highest in my company. I so was, you were making them good checks. Yeah, yes, okay. I was. So this is so new to me. Mm -hmm. And I went to school for real estate. Okay. And my dad is a general contractor. Mm -hmm. So my thing was always investing in like right. abandoned homes and renovating them. With my dad. Oh, let me find out because I need some drywall done. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm dead serious. I'm not playing. Girl, my dad will look you up. And okay. So that was my goal. I just knew I was going to do that and see my name on the, on the you know, on the little board saying Erica Holmes or some stuff okay. like that. That was my goal, but God had other plans. So now you're getting into the money faster because now you're just doing it with your natural born gift yes. and you can still do the other stuff that you were saying you yes, won't do. Yes. So once ain't no stopping that. Once them big chicks come. Hello. <laughs> I'm still learning how to go through this thing of being an entrepreneur, they say, right? Or, um, making my own money, right? Because I can, I, you know, I can mess up a check mm -hmm. and don't worry about because I got a guaranteed check, check coming, coming. That's right, coming that Friday. Mm -hmm. But working with this comedy, I can have a show back to back, back to back, and then the next there's week, a drought. Then nobody will call me, so I'm mm -hmm. like, how can I? Well, you can equate like commercial real estate. You make that big sale, and then you got to hold on to that check to, to the next sale. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so it's all. It's all part of the process. So right. you gotta say, but this right here, I'm gonna do that when I have money. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I can go through all that, but this right here is just like, Ooh. but I'm not complaining at all. Well, I love it, it. it is coming. Now, I don't know if I was there for your actual first time on stage, because when, when you went to Legend, was that your actual first time on stage? No, that was or? my first time. Okay. My so. first time was actually at the U Bar. Okay. My um my brother, I call him my brother in comedy. Well, he was me, my family period, Shawty Shawty. Okay, yeah. He was hosting, um, an amateur night at the U bar. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, like I said, all my co workers kept saying, Girl, you missing your calling, you missing your calling. So one day I called my cousin, I like, Look, bitch, I'm going to be a comedian today. <laughs> she like, The day, I like to today, come pick me up. Right. Mm -hmm. She can't pick me up. Got a standard ovation the first time. It was wow. Mm -hmm. That's dope. That so is. I was going to ask you what was your most memorable time on stage, but was that it or you got another one? That one, and most, i never forget that moment. And when I did it, um, when I did uh, the Rialto Center, when okay. the ratchet people meet, mm -hmm. there was like a thousands of people. <laughs> right. And that bit, it's so different when you're doing it. And I'm, I'm doing yeah. my thing, and you hear this big war of laughter. That energy. I'm like, what, bitch? I'm on fire. You're like, that was for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, dropping the mic. I'm right. like, came my heart, like, mm -hmm. or, or whatnot. But that was one of my um, good memories. Remember when uh -huh. okay. Yes. <laughs> so, we already discussed if, you know, comedy wasn't your passion. What would you do? 
So let me ask you this. If you were to run for president and won, what would your acceptance speech sound like? My acceptance speech sound like? Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of hood, little ratchet. <laughs> It, I know it would, cause right. I, I'm trying my best. I'm trying. <laughs> Just like my little hood. Right? Okay, I see it. <laughs> and that's and, why I call Kevin. And that's to crazy. Make it happen. <laughs> and for me to say Kevin Hart down here, all right, all right, like, hold on, Lord, hold on, God. Oh, no. That's all. <laughs> no, I'm gonna text message you. Anytime I get a text message, we'll come through. Cause I see no sign, girl. I'm like, okay, I, that might be your sign. Who knows? <laughs> But uh, I know it'll be a little ratchet. I don't know what I'll be saying. I'll probably be happy that I don't know, like what year and what this world will be at that time. Right. And I'll be talking. Cause we definitely need a new president. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> like, let's just say if I go, if I win in twenty twenty or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like when we just got finished with Donald Trump, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah. You know, just talking. I don't know. I just know it'll be ratchet. I don't know <laughs> what I'll say, but I know I'll be ratchet. Hey, <laughs> right, I can do it. But it'll be Yep. You lie, we can't look. Right there. <laughs> That's why I call Candy, because anything, anything happens. Can happen. You come up and say what's up to the camera, Mom, you in here. Yeah, you know. always say what's yeah, up. Baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, O.D., that's my big brother. <laughs> big little brother. Okay, now on Candy Kiss, we try to keep it fun, so we have a segment called Kiss or Diss. Okay. Celebrity crushes. I'm going to throw out some names. You're going to say whether you're going to kiss or diss. Okay. All right. Idris Elba or T.I., kiss or diss? Oh, Idris, baby. I love dark skin me all. Okay, mm -hmm. you like that chocolate brown. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and how he talk. And his, yeah, and oh, his, that throw you off, because yeah. when you look at him, you're like, okay, he and his and real accent. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm and talking about. That, the, yeah, yes. the England one. Oh, yeah. Well, I have somebody like Erica. I'm like, oh. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna make everything come off. Everything. <laughs> Just his voice. Get me more. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Michael Ely or Chris Brown? Oh, Chris Brown, baby. Oh, really? Oh, baby. Chris Brown, am they? Okay. Chris Brown, that my baby. Oh, mm -hmm. girl. I don't have some little, um, my little mom was with him. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Yes, so yes, you done yes. thought about this before? Yes, oh, yes. I want him like, now he be doing that little thing. The little body roll. Yeah, yeah. He can beat me. I mean, oh, like uh, uh, okay. not like that. But. You know what? I'm moving right along. <laughs> All right. Last one. Biz Markie or Bobby Brown? Bobby. <laughs> Bobby all day. You don't like Biz? Nah, I mean, nobody likes the Biz. I mean, I take Bobby. Give me that geek dick anytime. No, you know what? <laughs> Give me the geek dick anytime over Biz. <laughs> okay. Now that has been another episode of Candy Kisses TV. And go ahead and shout out your Instagram again so they know where to find you. Yeah, this is your girl, comedian Erica Dutchess. You can find me at E R I C A D U C H E S S on Instagram and E Erica S Duchess on Facebook. All right. Yes. And we'll holler. Candy Kisses TV is sponsored by Kissable Lips Cosmetics. Kissable Lips Cosmetics First Impressions Collection. A beautiful lip gloss quad with four gorgeous corresponding eyeshadows. Whether you're headed to work, preparing for a night out with the girls, or date night with the love of your life, the First Impressions Collection will get the job done. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Why not make yours kissable? Shop kissablelipscosmetics.com today. You can't be kissed without kissable lips.